coming this season on Rogue Life. Hey there, it's me, Benny Bowers. So, the world has been pretty crazy since the last time you saw me. That girl that I kind of have a crush on friend-zoned me hard. I mean, yeah, we sort of share a connection. But only in a way that you find between two good friends. Sometimes storytellers need help just a bit. I was detained and questioned by some secret government organization. Mr. Bowers, we have this footage of you with Miss Blake and Mr. Peterson huddled together for an hour outside of the building. The heroes are stuck and they can't escape. I infiltrated an apocalypse cult. The master must be released to bring back his power and strength to the chosen people through the enlightened veil. And I faced down a rogue AI. I'm all about creating new and interesting stories and entertaining. If it's just a bunch of puppets, but there's no one to watch the show, what's the point? Going back. Let's move forward. Oh, and let's not forget getting caught up in a full-on Broadway musical. With a trying to live my best life. Rogue Life Season 2 premieres March 25th, 2024 on your podcast app of choice. All right, folks, bit of a weird one. This episode's a little shorter than the other ones have been. Uh, One of our KISS members has decided to leave the show. And uh, good luck with everything, Jack, and thanks for all your wonderful work as the dissident. Basically, the creator didn't want to have the voice suddenly change mid-episode. Instead, he wanted to try and sneak it past you by having it change at the start of a new episode. But apparently, the creator's been kidnapped by some cult or something, and he can no longer exercise control over the show. So I just thought I'd pop this message in here and let you know that I knew you would have spotted it. Just like you spotted the case change in the Ensa Enclave, and the one in Wide End. Just saying, Kajo, maybe if you improved our paying conditions, we wouldn't be hemorrhaging talent. Just saying. Anyway, folks, enjoy the shortened episode. <laughs> Brother, brother, they're heading back towards the herd. What? Really? Must be easier prey or something. Hmm. Well, look at that. You know, I'm actually... I'm actually a little disappointed. It's not all that bad, is it? This, um, being dead thing, it's... It's got its benefits. I, um, I feel relaxed. I'm not afraid or anxious. I feel, I feel almost free. I mean, like, like you, for instance. I'd have found you completely insufferable in life, but also I'd, I'd have been terrified you would hate me. I'd have either been completely hostile or just hidden from you in the temple. In fact... I hid from most everything, and found most everything insufferable. 
except for Adrastia. But now I'm not afraid of anything. I face down a berserker. Berserkers, even. And I barely panicked at all. Plus, you know, I made a new friend. Uh, we, we are friends, right? Absolutely, man. I finally got a cool nickname, and watch this. See that crevasse over there? I'm going to jump it. Whoa, dude. You really got some air. <laughs> I'd have walked for miles around that in life. And see, it was... It was actually fun to jump over it. Way to look on the bright side, brother. But look before you leap next time. Because that was pretty dangerous. What? Look. Uh, oh. Um... What is down there? No idea, dude. It's like a great big fissure in the seabed of infinity. Can you hear But, like, it? no one comes back from it. Sometimes the lost wander into it. And I saw a couple of scumbags trick some berserkers into falling in there. They didn't come back. But also, it's like a huge hole, dude. Like, can you imagine being stuck in a huge hole here? Oh. No one could get you out. Well. It's suck. Totally get it, though. I was like this super wound tight dude back when I was alive. And when I kicked it, well, I just like, started kicking it. Found my chill, you, you know? were anxious? Really? Yeah, man. I had this super stressful job. So much pressure and worry. Always pretending to be someone I'm not. It was just like... So much. You know? Now I can just be me. And like, no one can stop me. It's pretty cool. What did you do when you were alive? I was like, a uh, Hmm. How would you describe it? I worked for the government. Visiting other countries and finding out what stuff they were doing. You know, making friends with people. Like a diplomat? Uh, yeah, brother. Like a diplomat. What about you? You figured out plan our travel or whatever. That's killer, man. We had, like, whole departments working on that. I never cracked it. So what's the secret, dude? I'm a researcher at a place called the Nymphum. I am charged with uh, unravelling the mysteries of the universe. As well as collecting and collating the histories and sciences uh, lost after the fall. I was able to locate a number of uh, Huntukivi stones scattered around the Darklands, and through a bit of creativity and esoteric manipulation, I, I got them to work. Well, almost work. I was trying to get to the Celestial Plane, but... I just ended up here. That's wild, man. I mean, it also totally shouldn't have worked. Like, that's almost the first thing we tried. But it's awesome that you got it to work, so... Congratulations, man. But why are you going to the Celestial Plane? To find the gods. Our world is moribund. Dying. We need their help. But they have been silent for so long. Yeah... So, like, why the Celestial Plane? Um, to find the gods? Because our world is moribund? Did they move back or something? Move back? Yeah, they stopped living there before I was even born. When we all came to Sivariesa, they brought us there, and they, like, stayed, or whatever. When you came to Sivariesa? Yeah, brother. When everyone arrived. Sivariesa. You came from somewhere else? Yeah, brother. Obviously. Here's the puddle. Come on. Yeah. Wish your boyfriend the body or whatever. Hey, one of the, the... Come on. You have a good old day. How, the sooner you get him a body, you... the sooner you can get lost. How could you have... <sighs> what? You... You're... You're one of the... Yes. Yes, I am. I... I... Quick. I... I... Did I, it miss you with that bed? I... I... Oh, I, no. I... 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 I thought you were just shocked. Can you say your name, my love? I... I... I all right, all right. I... I... Right, I, right. Lie down. I... I... Lie down. I... I'll try I, to... I, 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 I
Jazz. Oh, damn. Hello, Hollis. Ow. Oh. You. Surprised to see you here. Are you here to taunt me, Nilfate? Heavens no, Hollis. As much as I enjoy your suffering, it is entirely a coincidence that we bumped into each other here. I thought you'd be in Kalanath, slowly losing your Don't mind again. Don't call me Hollis. I'm not the Mad God, and that's not my name. So sensitive. Mother always said you were delicate. Don't blame me. You couldn't hold it together, Hollis. You made yourself the mad god, not Be me. Be very careful what you say next. I am more powerful than you could ever dream of becoming. Oh, pish. More empty threats, Hollis. If you were going to do something, you'd have done it by now. You're either too drained from keeping this place as it is. Oh, you're just as spineless as Mother described. Oh, you brought me a gift? How kind of you, Hollis. And sleeping so soundly. Basically gift-wrapped. She's not yours. I'm sending her back. I don't know how she got here. Wait, is she? She's alive? Oh, you're slipping, Hollis. First I get in, now others. Aren't you supposed to be guarding this place, or something? It just seems more and more cracks are appearing. You never know what might come through next. Or can make you leave any time or lock. I'll just come. Come on now. Seriously? It's just a little banishment. Why are you leaking again? Fine. Back to you, adventurer. Time to unfuck your head, I guess. Rise and shine! Ravi, no! What? Wait, where? Uh, we are here at the puddle. Ah, uh, you took a long rest. Looks like you needed it. Puddle? Pecco? Where is Ravi? He... Crap. I might have gone too far. Um, okay. Bad news. Ravi's dead. What? Uh, good news. You're about to bring him back. Ravi is dead? Oh, oh God. All right, all no. right. That's why we're here. Uh, the infinite waters, blah de blah blah Concentrate really hard. He, he was um, my charge. My student. Just concentrate really hard. His body will come back, etc., etc., etc. Then he can jump in and take it for a ride, and you guys can go home. So, he's not dead? Oh, he's not gone? We've done this bit already. He got squashed by a colossal penis. His soul is coming back. He just needs a body. Look, see that puddle over there? The lake? Everyone is a critic. Look, it's hot. The endless sea is infinite. By that measure, this is a fucking puddle. Less than it, it's a damp spot, a dewdrop. Uh, okay, what do I do? You can use the waters to create your boyfriend a new body. Then we'll lug it back to Kellanib and you can give it to him as a gift. Oh boy, okay. Uh, does it have to be exactly what he looks like? Okay, so just concentrate really hard on what he looks like. Place one hand into the water. Okay, now visualize your thought becoming tangible, taking physical form. Mm, okay, maybe well, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. That, that could work. Those are some interesting changes you've made here. I... I don't know. They aren't functional changes. I think he'll like it. I mean, I don't doubt that. I just think... Hollis. 
Fuck, for real? Well, I just finished um, you. How are you big so Hacko? quick? <laughs> Who is this lovely angry spawn lady with the purple eyes? And why is she shouting the mad god's name? This is an uninvited guest. She'll be leaving. Oh, you um... You are not as powerful as you think you are. And I am not as weak as you want to believe. Paco? <laughs> Who is this? Please, introduce us. Paco? <laughs> I'm Ilkia, primordial goddess of... Now, you are not. You are not her. Take your fucking name out of your mouth. Oh, <laughs> okay. I am clearly in the middle of something. Uh, I- I- I'll just... Release her, Nilfeet. Release her now. What? I think I might take her with me. She's clearly talented. She got here. She'll see straight through you. Even I couldn't. Oh. Um. So she wants something out. Let's see how 